Welcome back to the Top Notch Wild Card Series presented by Cracked Rackets. I am your host, Alex Gruskin. So happy to be joined in the booth by our first guest. He is the former Mr. Michigan Tennis. That, as you guys know, means a lot to me because he was my grade as well. Uh, former Michigan State number one singles player and the two seed at this weekend's event. Brett Foreman. Brett, welcome to the Cracked Interviews. Thank you. It's uh, good to be here. Yeah, and you know we haven't seen you since you finished your time up at state. I believe that was last uh, last win- or spring, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, what have you been up to? How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling better. I've been uh, teaching a little bit, just trying to get healthy. Um, I was pretty banged up at the end of the season and had to rehab for four or five months, but I'm slowly getting back into it and trying to find the game, but it's coming. I was going to say, with a 6-2, 6-0 victory in your first match, that's got to feel good. What's it like getting your match legs back under you? It's good. It's tough. It's tough. It doesn't take one or two matches. It's going to take five, six, seven, a couple tournaments, but uh, I'm just happy to be healthy and uh, be able to get out here and play some matches. Yeah, and it's an absolute pleasure to get to watch you. I watched you hit a forehand around the net post there. That was pretty nice, and if that's a sign of things to come, you know, the draw should be looking out. You, you talked about getting that match play in, and, you know, rehabs don't happen overnight. So can you talk to our listeners about why an event like this might be advantageous to someone in your position? Uh, well, you know, hopefully as I can get some more matches and obviously um, it's single elimination for me now, so provide I keep playing well and hopefully advance the draw will be get some more matches in and um, you know hopefully set myself up for a good 2019 sure and you know you, you talk about getting back into the tennis and I'm sure that's exciting but you had a little downtime you've had some time to reflect and I'm curious what does Brett Foreman do now that he's had a little time not the full tennis schedule of college but now that you've just been relaxing um well I I'm actually really busy I'm probably busier now than I was in college <laughs> sure. um I so I teach probably 14 to 16 hours a week, um, just enough to where I make enough money, but not too much where my body is just drained. And then <laughs> of course. I've also uh, taken to working at the front desk at uh, Bluefield, <laughs> so at my tennis club. So uh, waking up at 5.15 to go open up the club at 6 is... Uh, yeah. It gives me the same feeling so, as waking up for those early morning workouts. No, absolutely. Well, I do want to have a little fun with you. Obviously, I see the Spartan on your chest, and mm-hmm. you know I'm a Michigan guy. I know you're mm-hmm. a state guy, so it wouldn't be fun if we didn't talk about that a little yeah. bit. I'm going to name four coaches. I want you to give them to me from your least favorite to your favorite. Tom Izzo, Mark D'Antonio, John Beeline, Jim Harbaugh. Now, give me both. I want your favorites, worst to best, and I want the best coaches, in your opinion, worst to best. So you want my favorites first? Yeah. All right. So, uh, it's making me pick between Izzo and D'Antonio. (laughs) I'll say Izzo just because he's been there longer. (laughs) Okay, I like it. Then D'Antonio, then Beeline, then Dirt. And then Harbaugh. Yeah. And uh, Jim Orlando's uh, and Harry Jaden are uh, <laughs> up, up above everything. Oh, of course. Well, then, in terms of the most effective, because I would make the case that John Beeline right now, best coach in all of Michigan. He, I don't think it's outlandish to say. No, he's done an incredible job. I'm not <laughs> one of those uh, people who will deny the success of Michigan. Sure. Beeline does a phenomenal job. and couple more years, and maybe he'll be in the same conversation as Izzo. (laughs) Absolutely. That's funny to hear. Well, then, I want to give you a chance. You mentioned Harry. You mentioned Gene. Uh, Harry happens to be a good friend of the Cracked Interviews team. Mm -hmm. And I'm just curious. You know, I see Jack Winkler here. I'm sure you've gotten a chance to hit with your team back in East Lansing. How are the 2019 Michigan State men's tennis team, how are those guys looking? Good, good. They're young, very young. (laughs) And um, we lost uh, three seniors who were kind of – leader of the program last couple of years and um i think this year is going to be it's, it's going to be a learning experience a lot of guys are going to be playing a lot of matches um they're going to be playing spots that they're not used to but i think this year um hopefully we can get some good wins and it'll, hopefully it'll set up some success for the following years no oh, absolutely and again we talk about it. we have you we have winkler we have jp uh, this might get you in trouble, but a little, bit, a little bit of fun right now. The three of you are on the court, and it's winner take all. You know, you're not leaving until a clear winner emerges. Are you the king of the hill right now of the state guys here? I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'll take myself over. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to hear it. Well, Brett, you know, we want to talk to you more as this weekend goes along, but it's only Friday, so we're going to let you go. Thank you so much for taking the time, and again, we look forward to having you in the Cracked Interviews booth. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah.